Now, I'll tell the driver once he gets here, all right? Yes, I'm going out of town. Far out of town. You better cancel that cab, because you ain't going nowhere. And besides, I thought we had a deal. I keep your secret that you're really not Adrian, and you thank me by paying me cold hard cash? Are you kidding me right now? You were there. You saw me get busted. And I got the whole Kiriakis Greek chorus after me. If I don't get out of town right now, I am going to end up back in Statesville. And you better pray, sweetheart. I don't take you with me. So what's that, a threat? So you're saying Lockhart had- If I had to pretend to be the maid and dust those stupid figurines- Pretend is right. I did all the work. All you did was wear the uniform. So you need to be lucky I did that. And that snooty butler Henderson still hasn't paid me yet. And the only reason I ain't trip and make a fuss about it is because I figured with you marrying the old man, my payday would be any day now. Yeah, well, that's what I figure too. Now we're both in the same boat. Uh, no, we're not, because you're gonna get my money and you're gonna make sure of it. Oh, and just how do you expect me to do that? I don't know, but you sure as hell better figure it out because I'm flat broke. And if you think I'm leaving Salem by letting you off the hood, you're dead wrong. So I want what you promised, and I want it now. It's put together that you and I are compasses yet. So why don't you just roll on to greener pastures while you still can, all right? Great idea, except for there's no green, and I can't go anywhere without it. You're not gonna let this go, are you? No, because the ticket the prison gave me, I used that to get to Salem, and the money I scraped together is gone now. What about the Benjamins I just gave you for the wedding that didn't happen? <sighs> you don't seem to get it. I ran out of that mansion with nothing but the clothes on my back. I don't even know how I'm gonna pay for the cab I just called to get me the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> I should've helped Adrian when I had the chance, because she said you would stiff me. You know what? I didn't want this to blow up in my face any more than you did, all right? I mean, come on, don't you have a friend somewhere who can help you? I thought I did, but I was wrong. No, I don't. Ah, just how stupid were these things that you did with Sheila and her brother? Nothing major. I mean, at least not by street standards. Shoplifting, vandalism. Mainly just to see, just to see who had the guts to go through with it. Bugs. And. Were they eventually arrested? Yeah. By me. They trusted me. And I threw them under the bus to advance my own career. I got a promotion. And they were sent to prison. I thought we were friends. We are, Sheila. I'm talking about someone who's liquid enough to float you alone. Well, don't you have someone who can float you some dough? Like that daughter you took the murder rat for? Yeah. She? She owes you big time. Yeah, my daughter Mimi, she does owe me big time. The problem is she's not taking my calls. <laughs> Hell, at this point, I'll take whatever you have on you. How many times do I have to tell you I got nothing? Not one red cent. Well, I'll take that. Pin? Yeah, I mean, it ain't my taste, but I remember you going on and on about how priceless okay. Can't have this. <laughs> this is all I have left of my Mickey. Are you kidding me? A member from an opposing gang attacked him in prison. He died. I hadn't stabbed my friends in the back. Russell might still be here today. You are a real piece of work, you know that? Sheila, you don't understand, all right? Mickey gave this to me as a symbol of her love. I thought it belonged to Maggie. Well, yeah, I did at first. But when Mickey thought that Maggie had been killed by that serial killer, he gave it to me. And I remember seeing it in over its jewelry box. I mean, it was, it was like Mickey was calling out to me, you know? <laughs> Maybe he was calling, give it back. It's not funny. Look, I may now have gotten my revenge on Maggie, but at least I got back the one, the one thing that Mickey gave me. And now you're going to give it to me. <sighs> Come on, give it to me. All right, OK. Give me a sec. There. 
seriously have. Haven't you ever lost someone and wished that you had just one special thing to remember them by? We got you. Hey, Lockhart. Catch. What? We're good. You mean it? I mean it. Um, the old man, he meant something to you, so you should keep it. Can I give you some advice? Should I stop you? <laughs> no, probably not, but next time, please don't go chasing, but just don't bite off more than you could chew. <laughs> Never could resist a challenge, you know that. Yes, and I know that, and that's part <laughs> of the problem. <sighs> anyway, so where's this cab gonna take you? Boy, I have no idea. <laughs> you know, you're right about my daughter, Mimi. She mm -hmm. owes me. Sooner or later, she's gonna have to take my call, you know? I want you to take care of Lockhart. You too, Watkins. <laughs> Bring it in! Really? Yes. <laughs> All right. Take care of yourself. You too. Never forget you for this. Hey, may not happen again. <laughs> Sheila. I have nothing else to say Wait, to please, just, just hear me out. Well? About before, I... I'm sorry. Sorry means it's too late. Well, I hope not. Look, if you're in trouble, I want to help. You mean it? I may not be able to be there for Russell anymore, but I could still be there for you. I want to. All right. You don't really think you've seen the last of Bonnie Lockhart, do you? Thanks. Hey.